Hi, ni hao, I'm Chef Tam. Request from my Facebook friends, Jamie. Want to know different types of rice and how we're gonna cook it. So I have a few rice, different types from my pantry. That's all I got. And <laughs> this is the long grain rice. It look like that. This one is the Thai jasmine. And also that's another kind called basmati rice. It's similar. Huh? And this is the medium grain of white rice which is uh, they use it for like sushi or uh, to make kanji Asian kanji soup rice soup and this one is the brown medium grain rice the only difference is uh, you see the rice the brain and the germ which is the grain outside the rice still intact so uh, uh, this is healthier because the nutrition value of the brain and germ is still there. So actually it's the same rice. After you take that shell out, which is turned into white rice. Also real quick, I got this instant brown rice. It's been cooked it and dehydrated for some time. So it's just convenient for you to uh, just add some water and to cook uh, into a short period of time. And this is the Italian risotto rice, almost like short grain of rice. So medium grain and short grain, they are more starchy. So take a little bit longer to cook and require a little bit more water. So now I'm going to show you how to cook it. Here I got a colander. I just pour the rice and just uh, stir the rice and wash the rice for a minute or two, like this. Or there's another method, you can put it in the pot and fill with the water and, and wash it and drain out the water. You can do that too, but the only thing is when you do that, you want to make sure not too much remaining of the water in the rice. Just about a minute or two. Just like that. I prefer warm water. That looks pretty good. This only one and a half cup. We just want to get rid of some of the starchy thing outside the rice. Not too much. Okay, now you need to uh, look at the back of the direction to tell you how much amount of the water you should add in. But from my experience, long grain of rice I like to use the same equal amount of the water. If I use one cup of the rice, then I use one cup of the water. But did you hear about the sticky rice? This one that we're cooking right now is the medium grain. Medium grain rice and short grain rice are usually they call sticky rice. When they're done cooking, they will just stick together. That's how they make sushi. There's nothing, any trick to it. But to cook sticky rice, which is medium grain and long short grain we need to add more water so here I got one and a half cups I add almost a one and three quarter cups of the water and what I do is I have the heat of medium high and we're gonna uh, bring the rice to a boil now the rice bring up to a boil it's just an option right here I like to add some olive oil just a little bit give them a really nice flavor and um, I think it's easier to cook the rice and also the glossy when the rice is done and some people like to add a pinch of salt just give it a little more flavor which is okay too so right now the rice looks good I don't need to stir or don't, don't, don't mess with the rice don't worry now you just use the lid to cover up nice and tight and turn the heat down to simmer which is the lower temperature on your stove right here which I got it simmer and let the lid stay closed the whole time for 15 minutes on simmer and then we turn off the heat and let them rest for 15 to 20 minutes and you got a perfect rice after our 15 minutes on simmer uh, don't open the lid just turn it off completely off and then since this is the medium grain rice so we're going to let them sit and rest longer than 15 minutes. If you cook long grain rice, you just let them rest 15 minutes, it's good enough. 
short grain and medium grain, I like to let them rest like 20 minutes. And we're just going to sit, let them cover up nicely and let them sit for 20 minutes. Now the rice has been sit for 21 minutes. It's done. And I have a container of the warm water. And I put some, uh, I add some of uh, this, uh, like a giant fort. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up. See the rice? Nice and smoked and done. And this is a medium grain rice. So it's a little bit sticky than the long grain rice. Long grain rice is a little bit fluffy. And then what I do is I dip my fork into the water. I just break it apart. First layer, like this. Perfectly cooked. And then the bottom, you see the bottom is not burned because we did not use the high heat to cook. We use a simmer. The rice is just rest enough. Look at how beautiful. And now, you know how they make sushi rice? Medium grain and short grain rice is good for sushi rice. So now, if you just transfer the rice to a wooden ball or any ball that you have, you can just add some sushi seasoning. And you just add maybe for like, uh, I would say 2-3 ounces of the seasoned sushi and just spray it around and mix it nice and evenly. Then that's your sushi rice. Here we go. So now I'm going to show you a few tricks. So you want to impress your friend, I get a small ramekin and just wet it down and you simply fill into the rice like this. And you know you want to work with the sticky rice, make sure you use water to wet everything because water and sticky rice work together fine like that and you just like this. See how nice? And what you do is this, if you have a plate of main entree, you can put the rice on this side and the entree on this side. So make it nice and beautifully done like this. Here are your rice. And it's easy to work with a container of warm water. And the pot is supposed to look like this, not burning at the bottom because you're not using high heat to cook through all the way. And if you have a rice cooker, that's easy. <laughs> Just press the button and I just put that ramen in there, you know, just make it nice and even six pieces. So I think those are like uh, half cups of cooked rice. So here we go. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. Bye.